for the upper die center pin, it shows a half section view, which means a quarter of the parts removed. And anytime you see something like this, where you have part missing and you have these little section lines here, it's probably telling you to make half of the part and revolve it. In this case, it's going to be the easiest and fastest way to make this part. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to make a rectangle. We're going to have a little notch at one end and we're going to end up making a couple of chamfers, but I think we'll do that after we revolve it. So let's go to our inventor file, 2D sketch. We want to start off with a rectangle. We know there's a notch on one end. And we can trim off the stuff that we don't need. Now that we have the basic shape, if I go to change something like the diameter, which it tells me is uh, 0 0.4375 0 0.4375 and this is just half of the part so I only want half the diameter, just divide that by 2 it changes everything, scales it all up with it for this little bit here they're giving that to us as a small diameter, the 0.281. And again, divide that by 2. If it doesn't quite link up for you, just use a horizontal constraint, click on the two corners, they'll come back together again. This is 0.125. and let's undo that for just a second. Sometimes it's important to do the larger dimensions before the smaller ones in case you're a little too close. Um, Alright, so 0.1875 and 0.125. The overall length is one that I left out should be three inches long. Okay, and let's revolve that around the center axis. Click OK. I'm going to make a new sketch here and then immediately finish our sketch so we can use this point to make a new hole. This is a tapped hole. I know it is because it has a fraction over here and a UNC, which means Unified National Course. It's a quarter of an inch in diameter and 20 threads per inch. It has a depth of one. All right, so this is the symbol for tapped. Quarter of an inch is 0.25, so there's your quarter 20 UNC. And it doesn't go through all, it goes down a distance of one inch. Click OK. And now it has a chamfer of 0 0.03 on both ends. Chamfer 0 0.03 on both ends. Okay, last thing to do is check the material type. Up here it says that the uh, upper die center pin is steel. So you right click on part 3 go to your eye properties, physical, select steel, and click OK. Save and call this your upper die center pin. Save. I almost missed that this was not a, uh, a normal ending for a hole that ended flat instead of at a point. So we do need to go back and change out for hole 1 that the termination point should be flat instead of drilled. In case someone were to take a section view of it, they would see that slight change so it matches the original drawing. 